Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readly. Today I'm going to be talking about how to write a poem. Poetry is a really fun form. It's one that I've been exploring more and more over the past year or so, and I've definitely learned a lot about writing just from writing poems. Writing any form of writing can improve your skills in other forms of writing. So if you're a fiction writer, um, giving poetry a try can definitely improve your writing in a lot of aspects. Or maybe you're just interested in poetry in and of itself. Here are a few tips for writing a poem. It can be a little overwhelming and scary because there are so few rules. There is almost no guidelines when it comes to poetry. You have so much freedom and that can be a little scary, but it doesn't have to be. So in this video, I've broken it down into just a couple really easy steps to follow. So the first step is to brainstorm. You're going to need some kind of starting point to write a poem, but that can really be anything. It could be an idea, it could be an image, it could be a line, it could be, you know, a story or a memory really anything, but you do need something to be your starting point. It doesn't need to be the beginning of the poem. In fact, I personally rarely write poems linearly. I often write them like from the middle outwards. For some reason, it's kind of confusing, but it works for me. Don't worry too much about whether the idea is important enough. A lot of times people can get caught up feeling like poetry needs to be about a very large or universal idea or a very deep and powerful emotion. And that's not necessarily true. A poem can be about something very, very specific, very particular, um, or it could be something very silly or light or playful. Any topic is totally worth writing a poetry about. It doesn't really need to be earned by being the most important thing ever. If anything, this can be a bit of a detriment when a lot of poets um, try to take on something too large and abstract and kind of lose the specifics. The next step is to generate material. There are a lot of strategies that you can take for this, but I'll highlight two. The first is to start by writing the poem as a prose poem. Now, your poem might in the end be a prose poem, but this is a strategy that I find really, really useful. I start by just doing a free write as a prose poem, um, not having any line breaks, just one solid paragraph. Then later I go and add the line breaks and I can be a lot more intentional with them because that's the only thing I'm focusing on. Another idea is to just do a thought dump, write out bullet points of any possible line, idea, word, anything that you might potentially include in this poem, kind of similar to if you were brainstorming a fiction piece. You don't have to worry about putting it in order, you're kind of just generating material that you can draw from later. Both these strategies can help you, can help you develop the ideas of your poem so you have a bit more of a clear direction when you write the next draft. The next step is to choose the form and style. It's totally okay if what you've just written looks like a mess. If anything, that's a good thing. It means you've got a lot of interesting material that you can work with. But now it's time to give it a little more shape and finesse. One thing you want to think about is what form your poem might take. There are a lot of forms of poetry, way more than I have time to list here, but you might consider writing your poem as something like a sonnet, a haiku, a sestina, Really, the options are endless. There are so many different forms of poetry. But the idea of using a form is that the constraints will either heighten it by forcing you to use language in a specific or more efficient way, or the form itself is tied to the theme or idea of the poem. So those two things kind of speak to each other. No matter what form you choose, you want it to enhance the content of the poem. It's also totally okay, of course, to write your poem as free verse. This is probably the form of poetry that's most appealing to most writers. But even if you are writing your poem as free verse, you want to think about the specific style and form you're taking. Are you going to use any recurring or specific structure for the stanzas or the lines or even, even things like how you're going to use punctuation? Even if you're not using a specific standard form, you still want to think about how the unique form of your poem can work to enhance the content. Now you want to do a bit of research. Especially if you're new to poetry, you might need to do some research on the specific type of poem that you're writing. If you've never written a sonnet before, it's going to be really, really difficult if you don't read a couple first. So no matter what form you take, try to read poems within that form. It'll give you a lot of ideas on how you can use that form within your own piece. Now it's time to write the first draft. We've done a lot of gathering of material, even done some research, but now that you're writing the poem, it's really important that you just think about writing for yourself. Don't worry about an external audience, really just think about yourself and what you want the poem to be. Worrying about whether other people will understand it or like it can make for a really anxious writing process. You also don't want to be afraid to change up your plan as you uncover more. 
poetry can be very fluid and you might discover an entirely new angle for the poem while writing it. It's okay to follow that or even just try it out and then maybe learn it's not the best option. Once you have a first draft, you want to read it out loud. Rhythm is so important to poetry and reading your poem out loud is one of the best ways to fine tune it. Reading it out loud will also really help you strengthen your line breaks. You'll notice if they're not working because it'll be jarring to read. You'll probably even naturally insert line breaks as you read where you feel there should be a pause. So if you feel like you need to troubleshoot your line breaks, reading it out loud is one of the best ways to do so. You also want to look for things like tangled or awkward wording that will again really jump out when you read the poem out loud. You can even fine tune things like word choice by getting a stronger sense for what the poem feels like and sounds like within the context of the line and try out different options. Next up, you want to take a break. This is very similar to a fiction piece, but maybe even more important. Because poems are often so short, it's really easy to get very well acquainted with them by just working on it one day and practically memorizing. So you probably want to let it rest for around a week so you can come back with fresh eyes and continue to fine tune things like line breaks, structure, and word choice. And finally, once you've come back, it's time to revise your poem. Revising a poem it takes patience, but it also takes an open mind. The poem might change radically and that's totally okay. In fact, sometimes that's a good thing. Writing a completely different version might open your eyes to new avenues or ways to structure the poem, even if those versions don't end up sticking. Just like in fiction, but probably even more so here, you really want to focus Focus on removing anything extraneous that's not contributing to that core through line of the poem. With so few words, it's really important that every line and every word contribute, contributes something vital. Concision is key, maybe more so here than in any other form. So to review, to begin a poem, choose a starting point, which can really be anything you need. And from there, generate material with a free write or a quick first draft. From there, you want to work on fine-tuning the form and style. Try to choose a form for your poem that enhances and speaks to its content, since these things should be in unison or support each other. You might want to do a bit of research on the form you've chosen to see how other authors have utilized it successfully. When it comes to actually writing the first draft, you want to write for yourself. Don't think about an external audience, since this can make the process stressful. Just think about what you want from the poem, and don't be afraid to explore new options and change it up. Poems, because they're so short, can be very flexible, so it's really no loss at all to change it up and try something different. When it comes to editing the poem, you probably want to take a break to give yourself time to reflect and come back with fresh eyes. Reading it out loud is also a great technique to help fine-tune the line breaks, word choice, and rhythm. Finally, just like with a fiction piece, you want to focus on cutting anything extraneous and making sure the poem is as streamlined as possible. So that's how to write a poem. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye.